All right. So before we let you go, Paula, uh, so earlier today you were talking to um, counselor to the White House, Kellyanne Conway. You asked her about the Game of Thrones inspired poster that's sitting in front of the president uh, during yesterday's cabinet meeting. Which he never referenced. No. OK, <laughs> let's just sort of watch this exchange. <laughs> the president has had sanctions. He's issued sanctions on any number of countries and individuals. The Treasury Department certainly has. But does the president has. watch Game of Thrones? Oh, I'm not aware of that. Well, I've never the seen it in my life. Sort of Sorry, comparing I don't watch his a lot of TV. to a zombie apocalypse. Pardon? The the poster, the phrase, it's comparing his sanctions to a zombie apocalypse. No, so we're just trying to figure out what the point of the poster was yesterday at the meeting. Well, the president spoke for we about 95 minutes or so and took Q&A and had presentations uh, from his cabinet members as well, HHS, DOJ, DOD, and DHS, and we respectfully sat there and listened to them because we're actually interested in the facts and figures that attend to what is clearly humanitarian crisis at the border. Okay, so two things, because some people might not have seen this poster. So can you just sort of describe what it was that people were, were looking at and what was being discussed at the time? And, you know, what's your take on Kellyanne's uh, response? Well, there you can see the poster. Yeah. This is a spinoff, uh, of course, of the Game of Thrones posters, which usually say winter is coming. For anyone who watches the show, uh, you know that this has been said throughout the series. Um, it's sort of a metaphor for the White Walkers. A zombie apocalypse is the simplest way I can mm -hmm. I can explain it. Now, when they came out with this poster, uh, several weeks or months back, HBO came out and accused them of misappropriating their trademark. You can't at once sort of go after China for misappropriating trademarks and IP at the same time, you know, sort of antagonize U.S. companies for doing the same. But again, clearly, you, you put this poster in front of the President of the United States. So we asked, what exactly was it that you wanted us to get from this? She had no clear answer here. So um, as a lawyer and a fan of the show, I have to ask, the, the comparison that you're making, sanctions are coming, winter is coming, you're comparing your economic policies to a pending zombie apocalypse. The other thing is, for anyone who's a fan of the show, you know at an event for border security, this is the worst possible show to highlight uh, if you're trying to push the idea that a border wall can keep you safe. Spoiler alert, uh, in the show, a huge wall that they've erected of ice to protect them from the zombies goes down just in a few seconds. So it, it's really just very questionable why they're using this analogy. I think they're trying to be cute, but it appears that maybe they don't really fully understand this analogy. And it really is kind of symbolic of many things that happened during that meeting yesterday. The president talked about a lot of things in broad generalities, but he clearly didn't have the facts. Of course, his, his comments about Russia and Afghanistan left a lot of people scratching their heads. So again, you put the, the, this poster in front of the president. We asked why it was there. Um, we asked if he watches the show, if he understands the analogy, which is we, we couldn't get any straight answer about what it was doing there or what it means. And Paula, you know, you and I have discussed Game of Thrones because we're both huge fans of that uh, show. And it was, yeah, I, I, you know, I think part of the point of Game of Thrones of the wall is it doesn't work, right? right? That is the point. Uh, <laughs> That's I, the I whole just, point of the show. Exactly. I just hope the president doesn't say, well, they had an ice dragon. <laughs> <laughs> they so. did have an ice dragon. I think the chaos is a ladder. I think that's really the better uh, summary or the better reference for everything we're experiencing over the past two years and likely will experience for the next two to six. There, there was another pop cultural reference that I had uh, left a lot of people scratching their heads when the president said that uh, he was in a room with his generals that were better looking than Tom Cruise. I still <laughs> try to figure that. Yes, <laughs> that was a very surreal moment. Okay. Uh, Paula Reed, well, there's Top Gun 2 coming out, so who knows what the president maybe he got. <laughs> uh, Paula Reed, thank you so much.